guys, it's Geeks Corner here, and today we're going to be looking at Semi Restore 11, also known as Roulette. Now, for those of you who don't know what this is, it's basically a way of uh, removing the Electra jailbreak from your device and keeping yourself on the stock iOS so you don't actually have to update as well. And the beauty of this as well, you do also not have to have blobs saved. Now, for any of you who's been in the jailbreak community for a while, you remember City at Impact that did something similar. Uh, and we've also got a video which I'll link in the description below so you can go back and have a look at that process. Now, this process is supposed to be extremely quick. I remember with City and Impact that it uh, did actually take quite some time to do that, but it was obviously it did the job well, uh, and I really did like that too. It saved my jailbreak uh, quite a few times actually. So definitely gonna be looking at this today. And obviously we're gonna be looking using the official Packet Street Bow. And I will be putting a link in the description below for this as well. So we're just going to go in and we're just going to do a quick search for semi restore 11. As you can see you got 11 light and 11 slash Rolecta, which is what we want. It's by the author there. And as you can see it's got the full description so it's going to bring this in for you guys now. Okay. Uh, it says this is only compatible with iOS 11.3 to 11.4 beta 3. Devices that are running Electra 1131 for now. Support for all other Electra versions will be added in an update. And obviously your warning, running this tool will destroy all your data. Backing up your device before running the tool is recommended and the tool is fairly simple. The only button that asks for the confirmation, the tool starts once the user does the confirmation, the tool makes the use of the APFS snapshot of the system partition that gets created when the device is updating or restoring to revert the system partition or stock. And once this is done, it uses the mobile obliterator to destroy all of the data that's not in the system partition. It should reboot your device with a progress bar once it does done. Wait for the bar to load. If it gets stuck on the Apple logo for more than five minutes, consider hard resetting the device and that should fix it. And that's pretty much it. If you encounter any unexpected behavior, tweet me and then it's got the developer's tweet there or you can ping them on the RJ Break Discord as I'm very well active there as well. So we're just gonna go ahead and install this. Now, even if you don't wanna get rid of your jailbreak at the moment, I would highly recommend that you install this. The same as I recommended previous years as well for everybody to install uh, the Cydia Impactor tool as well. Now, for myself, I'm unfortunately on iOS 11.2, so I am out of luck with this tool at the moment. However, there is also uh, an application called Delectra, which I would recommend that you guys uh, use if you need that at the moment. So, like I say, if you're on 11.3, to 11.4 beta 3 then definitely install this even if you don't plan on using it because there's been times where people couldn't actually access Cydia and then they were actually had to be forced to reboot but at least you and uh, restore to a new do, uh, firmware but if you've got this there and you do have the trouble where you can't get back into Cydia you've already got the tool there so you can actually save yourself your jailbreak so like I say unfortunately I'm not able to go ahead and test this out for you guys today because I'm not on 11.3, but you get the idea of what this tool is about guys. So I hope you find that useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.